You are dead, says St. Paul in the letter to the Ephesians. One could say as good as dead. That to me is the theme of our readings, today the fourth Sunday in Lent. As I reflect on the three passages of scripture, I am aware of the surge of the pandemic in Jamaica and the beginning of the rollout of vaccines. We are a far cry away from Numbers 21, and yet there is something familiar with the experience. The Israelites are continuing their journey through the wilderness towards the goal of a promised land. There is an uncertainty which unfolds them. They must trust God and his servant Moses. They must continue to hold fast to a vision that has yet to be attained and which lies before them. During this period of wandering through an unknown, dangerous and difficult land, with an end nowhere in sight, there are days of relief, joy, and accomplishments, but there are also days of endless monotony and despair. Through it all, God provides, protects, and nourishes them with the staples of life. With no end in sight, the Israelites became impatient and discouraged. They forgot that the wilderness is a dangerous place and that their survival is indicative of God's continued grace. In frustration, they turn their anger against Moses and even their God. So because of their lack of faith, God sent poisonous serpents which bit them so that many Israelites died. The people repented and they asked Moses to intercede and so the Lord provided a way for them to be cured by having Moses erect a bronze serpent on a pole. Those who were bitten were asked to look upon it, and they were cured. This pattern of complaint, judgment, repentance, intercession, and rescue is often repeated throughout Israel's experience with God. The text from Numbers does not represent some magic or superstitious belief, for it was not the bronze serpent which healed them. It does not have that power. In fact, centuries later, King Hezekiah would destroy the bronze serpent because people were worshipping it and ascribing power to it, which it did not possess. The people are healed firstly because God provided a way for them to be healed and then second because they had obeyed God and did what God told them to do. Put another way, their cure came from their faith in God and from their obedience to God. That is why in John 3 Jesus could use this text to foreshadow his crucifixion. Just as Moses lifted up the bronze serpent, so shall Jesus be lifted up on the cross, so that all who believe in him may have eternal life. But this offer of life which delivers us from death can only come about if we come to Christ in trust and obedience. As I reflect on this text, I am aware of many in this pandemic who cry out to God for help but refused to sign up for the vaccine. Could this be a way out of this pandemic that God is pointing us to? 
We also live in a world where there is too much violence, a reduction of moral and ethical values, hopelessness due to poverty and inequality, where there are signs of our planet dying and so much more signs of decay and death. Yet God has given us the sun. God has provided a way out of death for us. As St. Paul puts it, and I paraphrase, we were as good as dead, but by grace we have been saved through faith. And this is not our own doing, it is the gift of God. We must respond to this gift by accepting it in faith and obedience. We must make its benefits our own by repenting and recommitting our hearts and lives to Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we may receive forgiveness and new life. Embraced by God's word, let us pray this week for those afflicted by the novel coronavirus, those who are sick, those recovering, and for those who have died. Let us pray for those who care for the sick with compassion. Let us also pray for those in trouble and for all in need, praying that they may find in the gifts of God a way out of their distress. Finally, let us pray that we will be instruments of God's healing grace to those whom the world despise and reject, all for his sake. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside. Worship you without growing weary. Serve you without failing. Diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. 
Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world. Evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>